All right, still out here at the range. And video I wanted to do for you as a shameless promotion and plug for the good folks over at Ammo Supply Warehouse because Ammo Supply Warehouse is my pretty much one and only, uh, I guess, sponsor, you could say. And by sponsor, I mean they're, they're kind enough to occasionally help me out a little ammo, with a little ammo when I want to do specific videos and stuff. Um, I'm still not like the big guys where, you know, I've just got people tripping over themselves to send me pallets of ammo. Wish I did. Any of you that are interested, um, let me know. So, again, shameless plug because Ammo Supply Warehouse is not afraid to help out a channel like mine, given the topics that we talk about and the subject matter here that we talk about. And I had asked them if I could get one of these right here, and they were kind enough to send it to me. And the reason I wanted to show you this is because it's something I'm a big fan of, and I want to go over the reasons why I'm a big fan of it. This is one of the Arms Corps Rock Packs. Now, what the Rock Packs are is good old 55 grain 5.56 full metal jacket, but it's a 300 round box of ammo. What I like about them is it's 10 boxes of 30 rounds each. I like that personally because it, it helps with my mild OCD in that I know I've got one box of ammo per magazine. I can fill up a 30 round mag with every one of these. So with this one box, I know I can fill up 10 magazines. It's a very convenient, easy way to go about uh, storing and stocking ammo, especially if you're on a budget. Price-wise, these are very budget friendly. I will put a link uh, if there's not a link in the description box, there will be a link to the blog, and I'll have a link to, on the blog to the, uh, to the ammo. <clears throat> if you're like me and can't always come up with the spare cash to buy a whole thousand round case at a time, but you don't want to just buy, you know, a hundred rounds at a time, this is a very economically uh, easy way to do it. So... I wanted to go ahead and shoot some of it for you. I have shot this before in uh, some training classes that I've done and fell in love with it because I can't speak for how it's going to go today, but in previous iterations with this, um, <clears throat> it has been very accurate for plain old full metal jacket 5.56 ammo. Um, so I'm a big fan of it. Again, I love the 30 round boxes. It gives you enough, if I can get my fingers in there, it gives you enough to fill up, like if you run a standard, say, seven mag loadout, okay, you could fill up six mags for your gear, one mag in the gun, and then still have two magazines full left over to uh, zero and double check function and all that through your gun. Really easy way to get a good setup. So... I'm going to put some through four different guns, and if you watched my uh, previous previous uh, video that's probably up before this, then you'll know that I just finished doing a little four-way shootout between four of my favorite guns. Um, so we're going to do that with this only not necessarily on the same targets. Um, I've got to decide which gun I want to uh, to put it through first, though, because honestly, um, you know, I think I'll try my Expo build first. Not the Expo, sorry. I stand corrected. Uh, get off of there, Hot Rod. So this kind of things we get to deal with. We get, where is he at? Right there. See my little friend? All right. Shoo fly. Whee. All right, let me grab your web. You, you're going down there. All right, go on with your bad self. Go eat some bugs. All right. Roscoe build. Roscoe manufacturing 14 and a half inch nitrided barrel. Primary arms MD25. 
with the ACSS radical. We'll see what it does. After we do that, we may put it through some of the others and see, but this is typically typically one of my more accurate uh, one of my more accurate 14 and a halfs. I mean, personally, all my 14 and a halfs are more than accurate enough for what I want to do, but this one just, it seems to like loads across the broader range. So, we'll try this one and see what it does. Um, I've got a clean target up down there. So before we do that, let me do one other thing. Y'all stand by just a second. All right, just wanted to get the camera repositioned a little bit so you can get a little better, better view of things. Not that there's a whole lot to view, but. All right. Boy, that's some smooth shooting stuff right there. All right, let's go take a look. All right, so like I said, this is an unabashed plug for uh, Ammo Supply Warehouse. Keep telling y'all, support the people who support you. And the folks over there, uh, they get out and train and do the real things like we do. So, So for a 1X optic, I will take that. I will take that all day long. Um, <clears throat> tell you what, I got a couple more targets. We'll, we'll shoot some more through another couple of the other guns and let me, uh, let me staple a few more up and we'll see what it looks like through them. I'm telling you guys, this is good ammo for training for practice and actually for uh, rainy day party time use very good party favors let me get the target up all right i got some fresh targets up this is my pro 2a tactical build with a primary arms 2x prism so keep that in mind it is a 2x All right, that's the Pro 2A. Next is my Expo Arms 14 and a half inch chrome line with a primary arms 1X on it. Lastly, we'll 
do my old faithful 14 and a half inch chrome lined Palmetto State Armory with the primary arms 1X on it. Let's go look at some targets. All right, so we did the Roscoe on the other target to start. So this is a Pro 2A. We got one, two, three, four, and five. And then, boy, I tell you what, it's hard to argue with that Expo Arms because that's one, one at the target. One, two, three, four, five. That's all within a within an inch. Again, we're only at 50 yards, but, and then the Palmetto State Armory, there's three of them stacked touching each other, and those two very well may just be my eyesight playing tricks on things, otherwise I bet those would have stacked right in there. So, all in all guys, I mean, it's accurate freaking ammo. You can't ask for your ammo to do any better than that, especially from the bench out in the real world up going if you do your part it's going to do it this is just one of my favorite ammos because of a combination of the price the accuracy and i love these 300 round rock packs they just make it so easy to stock up for a rainy day have a practice trip to the range to uh get for a class whatever boy that got dark on the camera didn't it all right, hang on a minute. All right, let's try it from back here to 100. Just because reasons and throw some bush and uneven terrain in the way. Pulled two of them, but uh, I'm gonna blame that on the wavy bushes in my line of sight. Cause, you know, in the real world, sometimes you've got stuff in your way. It's not always a nice open manicured range. But when you do your part, usually your equipment will do its. So what did we learn? Well, we learned that Ammo Supply Warehouse is good people who are like us and doing the things. We learned that the Arms Corps Rock Packs is very accurate ammo for a plain old 55 gram full metal jacket load. We learned that it functions perfectly in multiple different guns. We learned that uh, as long as you as the shooter do your part, it's gonna do its. We learned that uh, the Rock Packs in the little 300 round boxes are a very convenient and easy way to store up ammo, train with ammo, practice, so on and so forth. So, don't take my word for it. Try it yourself. I think you guys will like it. And again, in today's day and age, it's all the more reason to support the people who support you. Take care, guys. Stay safe. Get out there and practice. Time's ticking. See y'all later.